So recently I placed an order with Nintendo and my packages showed up and I wanted to share this with you guys today because one of them I think could be kind of interesting, but the one I think may not be as interesting. Let's get out of the way first off. I believe these are going to be the Super Nintendo, Nintendo Switch controllers right here. Uh, these things had been out of stock for the longest freaking time and I think they're pretty cool. So when they came back in stock, yeah, I ordered a couple more because why the heck not? You can use these things on a lot of different devices. So why not have them, right? So that's why I grabbed them. But this is what I want to talk about today. But we might as well just get these things out. Make sure it's all good. Like they didn't screw up. They always, you know, do a pretty good job of not messing up my orders when I place, you know, an order with Nintendo directly, right? So I'm pretty happy with that. Very cool. Very cool. Got two more of these, so I got three of them total. I use them every once in a while, but I just wanted some extras just in case. You never know. So this one right here, I'm pretty damn sure this is going to be a refurbished, direct from Nintendo, 2DS system. So I've ordered refurbished stuff from them before, like the NES and Super Nintendo Classic, and those were like in immaculate condition. I've heard from plenty of people that when you get refurbished stuff from Nintendo, it's just like as if it was brand new. So I'm hoping it's the same here. Now this cost me $50. Do I think that's a good deal? Nowadays, yes, I, I think so. There's tons of, uh, you know, 3DSs that have been released, 2DSs, revisions and whatnot. There's been a ton of them, but I'm not sure if you've been to the store lately, but most stores no longer have a 3DS section. You're not finding hardware anywhere. You're not finding games at a lot of places. You know, GameStop, they'll have like used games and whatnot, but yeah, a lot of this stuff is becoming more difficult to find. Little, uh, what do we got here? Packing verification, okay. So yeah, this may be one way to get a uh, non-jacked up system anyway. And cool, they, they, <laughs> They did just like the NES and Super Nintendo Classic where it's in like its own box, but they put a sticker on there. Refurbished product. Plays Nintendo 3DS games in 2D. I thought this system, when this came out, we, first off, I've had a few of them. I have this like clear blue one. We have a clear red one and a couple others. I, I think this was a fantastic system when it launched as far as a revision, no 3D which I didn't really use the 3D much to begin with, but the form factor, I, I really liked it for what it was. My kids all have one and we've played this thing quite a bit. I really enjoy this like wedge, this whatever you want to call it. I, I think it's a, a pretty nice little system, great way to play. But then you have to keep in mind with these revisions, a lot of things change. Like you do have these only four new Nintendo 3DS games like Minecraft and uh, there are a couple others that you cannot play on this system or the previous iterations. You gotta have like a new 3DS, new 2DS type of thing in order to play these games. There's only a handful, like two or three that I'm aware of. So it's not a huge deal. You could play most of the library with this. So there is that. Let's go ahead and get this thing out and see what kind of condition it's in. I'm hoping it's, it's perfect. Does it come, yes, we got a power. Power brick, cool. This doesn't look like, is this the same as the other ones I have? I think it is. It just kind of looks a little different. I don't know, like I don't recall the power. Yeah, it's the same. I, I'm tripping. I got so many of these power cables. I had another one sitting behind me. Yeah, they're, they're the same. They're the same. I just thought it looked different for a moment, but nope, it's the same power supply that came with the uh, previous versions. It is a little, uh, is that just from that? This one feels a little more wobbly than this other one that's been sitting around for a while. I'd imagine it should be fine. It's just the, uh, you know, the little mechanism just kind of rattling in there, but no, no, no big deal. No big deal. What else we got in here? We get our AR cards like usual. We should, yeah, we got a little manual there. Plug that bitch in and start playing. 
AR card. I don't know how many of these I have, man. I do have the ambassador certificate. I believe my main console is this one. So I have my ambassador certificate on that. I've had a 3DS since day one. I remember buying two of them, one for myself, one for my wife, the day it launched at GameStop. And one of them had a ton of dead pixels. And we rushed back to swap. It had like, literally, it wasn't just one or two. One or two dead pixels for me is still a no-go, especially on a screen as small as what was on the original 3DS. Like, hell no, we rushed back to GameStop, showed them, and they swapped it out, no problem. That was day one on launch, so that was pretty cool. And here is, I believe they call this the electric blue? Is that what they're calling it? I think so. And you know, I'm not seeing any scratches or anything on that screen. Got like a little... <sighs> this is looking nice. Take a look at the stylus. A lot of times this, like, the stylus will get like where it doesn't fit in there anymore. Like it gets loose or something. Maybe it's from the slot itself or from the stylus. But this is nice and tight. I don't know, does this one, do I have a stylus in this one? Yeah, like, it's kind of hard to, to showcase. But in this one, I mean, it fits in there fine. It stays in there. Like, it's not coming out. But it just doesn't feel as snug anymore. I've had this one for a long time. I think these clear ones, they clearanced them out at, like, Walmart ages ago. Some years ago, and we bought a few of them. Um, but, yeah, that's cool. This this feeling good. Micro SD, or uh, not micro SD. It's an SD card slot, four gigabytes, Toshiba. I wonder if that's the same that's in this. I seriously haven't looked at these in a while. Is that the same? Yeah, it is. It's the same card, okay. Guess they didn't really change anything up with that. That's cool, that's cool. Let's get that back in there. But yeah, with this system, and all iterations of it becoming harder to find, I would definitely keep an eye on Nintendo for re refurbished uh, systems if you're in the market for one. Um, I, I do see some little tiny scratches on the corner down there. Not even a big deal. If I bought this brand new, I probably wouldn't even notice that, but I'm really inspecting it for this video. I don't know how well you could see that focus, you son of a... But like right above that, that screw, there's like... A little tiny scuff or scratch, not major, but it is there. These are refurbished systems, so let's go ahead and power it on. Hopefully we got a charge here. Analog sticks feeling nice. We did get like about three quarters of a charge shipped from these guys. I'm not seeing any like dead pixels or anything like that on here. Uh, the screen's looking pretty good. Let's see if we, if we got surprised, if we got anything installed on here. Doubtful, doubtful. I always liked uh, having the screen like that instead of the uh, just single items. All right, let's pop in a game. Hell yeah. Well, there's that. 3DS games appear to be playing just fine. The speaker sounds good. The quality of everything here is up to expectations as far as, you know, what Nintendo does with these refurb units. I wanna go ahead and try out this uh, little, what was this? I did a video a long time ago on this. This 208-1 cartridge.
I absolutely loved this game back in the day. This, this, this game just had me hooked. This Mario basketball with like Final Fantasy characters in it. This, this, this is a cool game, but definitely neat that all this works. This flash cart thingy that I did a video on. Got it off of eBay for like less than 20 bucks. Take a look at that video. But I'll put a link in the description um, to the listing for this on Nintendo's website. Damn well worth it for $50. Almost new condition. I'm very happy with it. Glad everything works and looks good. The analog stick is not crunchy. We don't have no uh, like Cheeto dust in there or anything like that. So really cool. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Worth the purchase in my opinion. Appreciate it guys. Peace out. Big ass thumb button in your face. Bye bye and boom. Bye.